Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. What we're doing today is veneer finishes inside on a shower. We don't often have the opportunity to show some of these uh, veneer products, so we're going to take that opportunity now. What we're doing today is we're doing a two coat system. We're going to use this Imperial uh, veneer base coat. Then we'll, after that sets, which is usually about an hour, we're going to apply this veneer finish. And usually over, we're going over um, sheetrock, uh, drywall, plasterboard, gypsum board, whatever you want to call it. Same stuff. This veneer base coat, we can go 1 16th to 3 30 seconds of an inch thick on our first pass. We let that set usually about 45 minutes to an hour. Then we come right back with this uh, imperial veneer finish. And what that does is it gives a real hard finish, kind of like glass. If you touch it, it's uh, cold and smooth like glass, whereas taping muds, they're kind of, um, well, uh, warm and soft. Um, these particular finishes are mainly for schools, hospitals, corridors where it gets a lot of traffic, and also for showers and kitchens because of the steam from cooking, the steam from showering. These will not come off and they're uh, waterproof. So I actually brought this diamond out here because we were doing some diamond last week and it was in the truck. Diamond, this is the imperial, or sorry, this is the uh, veneer finish. It also has its own base coat. Anyway, uh, so what I've got here is I've got a bucket of water. Now what I like to do is I'll take my drill, I'll put the water in here and I'll just hold this uh, base coat between my legs and uh, kind of pour it in and mix at the same time. Uh, and pour this in and by the way there's a lot of paddles too. My, I had a good cage paddle which is perfect for this but can't find it so anyway I'll just use this paddle. I'll show you what we're doing here guys. Is we're not mixing too much and I'll show you the consistency afterwards. I'm putting it in and I'm, the water's in here already. What happens if, if say for example, oh that's about it. Say for example, uh, I put the powder in here, then take the water hose and spray it, all the powder comes up. So we put it in here first, not because of the powder coming up, but because that's the instruction. And we mix this up. Wow, I got a pretty good batch already. And generally with uh, these base coats, these veneer plasters, you only mix about two minutes, two to five minutes. I'm not going to bore you with the whole two minutes of mixing, but what I will do is show you, you want to get everything off of the bottom of the bucket, the sides of the bucket, and mix. Okay, I got at least another minute to mix this but I already got the consistency I want to prove a point guys if you're going to use it it's obviously good to know how to mix it so Jay generally mixes but his hand is all jacked up right now anyway that's the consistency and this base coat does have fine fine sand silica sand and so it makes a really hard uh, first coat so we're gonna put this first then we're gonna come back after an hour mix up this veneer uh, or this this veneer finish and put that on it. This has no sand in it guys so it, when we're done it gives like a glass like finish and it is strong guys. Anyway I thought I'd point that out because I'm getting ready to use this material anyhow and I get a lot of folks ask me what's the difference between veneer plasters, taping muds and compounds. Well this is the best and it's for showers. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Jason on the camera, as usual, we thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.